video, we're going to reinforce what we learned in the last episode when we built our email matcher. And this time we're going to build an IP address regular expression. So this is another thing that uh, say that you're building a security application and you want to block uh, or you want to verify one way or the other uh, a, the IP address and see if it's a valid one or uh, you know, just do things like that. Uh, being able to check for a range of values and along with a specific format is something that regular expressions are perfect for. So right here in a comment, I put what we're looking for. We're looking for a regular expression that will match all of the values from 172.16.00 all the way to 172.31.255.255. 255. So right here, we I created a IP address regular expression that is going to do each one of those values. And so uh, I'm going to pretty much do the same thing that we did in the email episode where I'm going to create a method and say, is valid IP address and pass in the value of an IP. For some reason, Sublime wants to keep on uh, completing that form even when I don't want that. Okay, so now I'm gonna pass in the argument and do the matcher. And here, the matcher is gonna be our IP address regular expression. And now let's put in some tests. So. I'm going to say is valid IP address and let's put in a failing one first. So we'll say 999, which we know is going to be too high and 16 0, 0. And then we're going to use a ternary operator again. We'll say valid or invalid. OK, and we'll create a few more of these. And now let's do a good one. So we're going to go at the very bottom and see if that's working and then let's go to the very top see if that's working nope oh, sorry want to do that here and then let's just go up by one more than we wanted to okay so we should get a valid or a invalid valid valid invalid well, let's run this this is at uh, ip address matcher file Clear out last episode's results. Okay, regex IP address. Okay, perfect. So we have invalid, valid, and invalid. That's perfect. So this is working exactly how we would want it to work. Uh, you could create any other ones and let me know if uh, if there are any changes or any bugs you can see in it. Uh, but I've used this one before and it seemed to work pretty well. Now, uh, one other spot, you can always build a file like this and test it this way. Uh, but there's a, uh, there's a tool I use and a lot of Ruby developers use it called Rubular. And it's uh, you can go to it at rubular.com. I'm going to bring it in right here. And this is a great tool for using regular expressions in Ruby. So I can test this out right here by grabbing these values for the regular expression. And we can then pass a test string and see how it does. So let's pass in some of these example ones. You can see right there, it's not a match. Now let's pull in a good one right here. And you can see that that matches the result. So this is a really good way. If you don't want to uh, you know, keep on switching back and forth between the terminal and your file, this is a really good way of being able to run test strings, getting match results, and it's a way you can play with it. Uh, and all of this happens on the fly. So like say right here, what if we changed this value on the, or this value on the one to nine side and just said one to two 
and got rid of that D. Okay, we just broke our regular expression. Um, so there, you, there's all kinds of different things that you can do to play with and uh, test out your, uh, your regex. And down below, I also use this quite a bit. This gives you a quick reference guide for your regular expression. So everything from being able to grab a single character to how to do some ranges. Uh, in a, this is something that you can kind of use as a reference point to see all of these characters that may look kind of funny together. You can check and see, oh, this... Uh, uh, this right here, this is the start of line. So this means the start of that line. And then the dollar symbol means end of line. We've already seen this forward slash A. This is the start of a string. The Z is the end of the string. Uh, so you can see, uh, and this one's a really important one, the parentheses, everything inside there means to capture everything enclosed. Uh, a or B. When you see the pipe, that means you can do one or the other. Uh, so there's a lot of cool things right in here that I think you will find very helpful. So Rubule or something, I honestly don't remember last time that I built a new regular expression that I didn't use Rubule to test it out. Uh, so I think it's something you'll uh, find helpful in your development. But that is how to build a regular expression validator for IP addresses. And in the next episode, episode, we're going to get into how to build the Wheel of Fortune game. So that's going to be really fun.